Hello and welcome back to my first ongoing Let's Play of Space Marine. If you happen to like the series or the channel, I would love it if you hit those like and subscribe buttons. And having said that, we are moving on. Stratum 78. That was, oh. That felt like a heavy gun. Even though these traitor guardsmen are pretty squishy, they do have some heavy stuff with them. And as always, I am looking for servo skulls. And oh. Hey! By <laughs> visible violent death, I just got uh, an achievement for. I can see why. Those guys. I died violently, I was about to say, but that is like a Chaos Acolyte or Sorcerer or something. That's bad. I wouldn't mind it. No, 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 no. I will not let you do that. That will not do, sir. I should probably look down here as well. See if we have any any missed stuff. Um excuse me. I think we're good. I think we're good. Getting some of those supplies. I wonder if the Chaos Space Marines actually die or if they just get stuck back into the warp when they do the puff of smoke thing. I don't know, to be fair. Oh. Can I go there? Ouch. No, I don't think I can. Okay. Okay. Oh. Stop it.
Okay. We got him eventually. It was tough not to crack, though. Tough one. Yeah, I think we're done. And once again, it looks like we have an elevator ride. sure where that voice came from. So instead of elevator music, they have propaganda. It does sound like the Imperium. Experimentation with the warp energy is proceeding rapidly. I no longer need to travel into the warp to pull more energy into this dimension. But I am encountering unexpected activity. I was naive to think that my incursion into warp space had gone unnoticed. Someone, some thing has taken an interest. When I manipulate the energies, I feel a presence pushing against my psychic defenses, testing me, testing me. Yeah, that doesn't sound very good. All workers of class nine and above must report for their shift despite the emergency. I mean, the 40k, the warp is overall a very dangerous place and very dangerous entity to mess with and people that do usually end up in bad places I'm not so sure I want to have that as I said earlier like methods are pretty good but they also require some maintenance and I don't want to have that on too many things. Wow, this is a big, big place. That did it, Ultramarines. If you can release our mooring clamps, we can bring devastation to the invaders. The Renegades have it well guarded. Understood. Yeah, that is quite the piece of war gear. No question about it. Yeah, Titans are pretty badass. Surprise! Get some blood letters. Okay, let's let's try this. 
this. Meltas are pretty good against heavy armor. So I should probably use that a bit more. Did we have one more? Oh, there you are. I'll use you if you don't mind. Feeling very righteous. And that's a closed one. That elevator will get us to the mooring clamp controls. I will take care of the clamps. You and the Andros get the doors to the Manufactorum open. Understood, Captain. Cool. But there's definitely something in here. Yes, indeed. I needed to test the warp device's capabilities. Running the Titan Manufactorum with it, or rather with the power source, provided a convenient opportunity. The tech priests are practically giddy with its success, but this is a trivial accomplishment. I am impatient to begin testing the warp device's psychic attributes. I'm just waiting for the live cargo to arrive. Yeah, that sounds good. Live cargo. power source with me. We must use it to supercharge your weaponry. The power source? The rights involved in using it safely? Only the high fabricator himself. Unless we act now, an entire chaos fleet will hang over your forge world. Understood. Yeah, sometimes, you know, you gotta make those tough choices. is awesome looking for sure. Mooring 
clamps released. Invictus powering up now. My battle brothers will have the gates open shortly. Maneuver Invictus close to the topmost gantries. I'm coming aboard. Yes, Captain. Borg the Titan. Yeah, okay. It is pretty cool. this also I had a weird boss fight What's that? Lock it down! A demon is in the labs! Authorization required to implement security protocols. Drogon, Inquisitor, Ordo Xenos. Human. Repeat authorization. Speak clearly. Drogon! Inquisitor! Oh no! Hmm. Was that when they actually got him? Well, here we go again, I guess. If we had to stop this invasion, the spire must fall. I understand.
that was a thing. Leap down to the rookways around the volcano cannon, Captain. Has performed admirably, Enoch. The warp gate is closing. Thank the machine god. Shutting down all systems. Chapter 14 Victory and Sacrifice. Ajaki's Eastern Gates. Anything here that we can do before moving on? No. So they basically took the elevator up just to take the elevator down with me. That's done it, Titus. But Nemiroth and his demon host still roam free, though he is trapped on this world. And all the more desperate to recover the power source. Let's get it to safety, my friend. Good news on that front. Lieutenant Mira reports that the Liberation Fleet has entered the system. The Inquisition will surely have sent agents with the fleet, Captain. Perhaps we can return the device to them. The Inquisition has already failed to stop its exploitation by chaos. No one must use the device, the Andros, ever again. Contact Lieutenant Mira and have her divert a Valkyrie here to pick us up. Yes, Captain. I suppose putting a bolt around through that damnable power source is out of the question. Too risky. We could open another warp gate, for all we know. Upon our return to McCrag, I will confide it to the chapter master and his librarians. And until then? My most trusted brother will bring it to our strike cruiser, seal it in the armory. Crag is the home world of the Ultramarines. And I think. Get this damn thing secured, Sergeant. As quickly as I can. <laughs> what will you be doing while I run this little errand? There are still thousands of traitors and heretics on this world. I intend to drastically thin their ranks. Lieutenant Mira's Valkyrie is on its way, Captain. Excellent. We make for the landing pad and watch for the Chaos Lord's forces. So, what I was about to say was that I think Reboot Gwildemon, the Primarch of the Ultramarines, came from McCrag as well. I also believe this could be a good place to end off the part. Thank you for watching this part of my Let's Play of Space Marine. I hope you had as much fun as I still have with this game and that you might drop a sub or a like on the channel. I would also love it if I saw you again in the next part. But for now, it is time to say bye bye.